Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you. Hi everyone. This is Skillfident English Academy and you're listening to your mentor Namita. This is an English learning podcast where we try to improve our English speaking skills by paying attention to the vocabulary, choice of words, pronunciation and also the content of these lessons. This series is learning English through stories. where i tell you an amazing story and you have to give me a suitable title in the end you can consider switching on the subtitles if you want to read along with me you can also increase or decrease the speed of the audio based on your understanding so let's begin reading today's story You have to give a name to the story in the end. An old man lived in a village. He was one of the most unfortunate people in the world. The whole village was tired of him. He was always gloomy, constantly complained, and was always in a bad mood. The longer he lived, the more bile he produced and the more poisonous his words became. People avoided him because his misfortune had become contagious. It was considered unnatural and insulting to be happy next to him. He created the feeling of unhappiness in others. But one day, When he turned 80 years old an incredible thing happened instantly everyone started hearing the rumor the old man is happy today he doesn't complain about anything he smiles and even his face is fresh and up the whole village gathered together everyone was curious to ask the old man what exactly had happened to him to this the old man replied nothing special for 80 years i have been chasing happiness and it was useless and then i decided to live without happiness and just enjoy life that's why I am happy today. So my dear learners, what's the moral of the story? Well, I think the story is trying to teach us that we don't need to chase happiness. Simply enjoy your life, isn't it? Well, we all know this. We all know that there are certain things which matter and certain things which don't. But still we become so sad and depressed deep inside you know what ready or not some day it will all come to an end there will be no more sunrises no minutes hours or days all the things you collected whether treasured or forgotten will pass to someone else your wealth fame and temporal power will shrivel to irrelevance it will not matter what you owned or what you were owed your grudges resentments frustrations and jealousies will finally disappear so too your hopes ambitions plans and to-do lists will expire the wins and losses that once seemed so important will fade away it won't matter where you came from 
or what side of the tracks you lived on at the end. It won't matter whether you were beautiful or brilliant. Even your gender and skin color will be irrelevant. So what will matter? How will the value of your days be measured? What will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage or sacrifice that enriched, empowered or encouraged others to emulate your example. What will matter is not your competence, but your character. What will matter is not how many people you knew, but how many will feel a lasting loss when you are gone. What will matter is not our memories, but the memories of those who loved you. What will matter is how long you will be remembered, by whom and for what. Living a life that matters doesn't happen by accident. It's not a matter of circumstance, but of choice. So choose to live a life that matters. But sometimes the emotional turbulence doesn't allow us to live this life to the fullest. So let's start listening to our emotions. Here are a few emotions that I'm going to talk about. Like bitterness. If you feel a lot of bitterness then you need to know that it shows you where you need to heal, where you are still holding judgments about others and yourself. If it's resentment, then resentment shows you where you are living in the past and not allowing the present to be as it is. If you are feeling discomfort, it shows you that you need to pay attention right now to what's happening because you're being given the opportunity to change, to do something different than you typically do. And anger, as we all know, anger shows you what you're passionate about, where your boundaries are and what you believe needs to change about the world. If it's disappointment, then disappointment shows you that you tried for something that you did not give in to apathy, that you still care. Guilt shows you that you're still living life in other people's expectations of what you should do. We sometimes feel shame. Shame shows you that you are internalizing other people's beliefs about who you should be or who you are and that you need to reconnect with yourself. Anxiety shows you that you need to wake up right now and that you need to be present, that you're stuck in the past and living in fear of the future. And if you feel a lot of sadness, then sadness shows you the depth of your feeling, the depth of your care for others and this world. So simply start listening to your emotions. This life, the feelings that we right now have, the goals, the dreams, our wishes, hopes, everything is based on our decision. Decide. You are the only one in charge of your destiny. Unfair things may happen to you. Unfortunate times may come to you. But you always get to choose how you respond. You can live in frustration and bitterness. Or you can be the bigger person and just play the hell out of the cards. You are dealt. The truth is 
that not a single person can choose the cards they receive but everyone chooses how they play their cards it's all about choices choice is the most powerful tool we have everything boils down to choice we exist in a field of infinite possibilities every choice we make shuts an infinite number of doors and opens an infinite number of doors at any point we can change the direction of our lives by a simple choice it is all in our hands our hearts and our minds if you choose to be happy today then nothing can stop you from being happy you are the only person who is in charge of your life simply decide to be happy make a choice to live this life to the fullest and on this positive note i am going to end today's audio lesson and i'll see you in my next one till then take care of yourself bye bye for now